Blade and Sorcery is a virtual reality game that allows you to choose from an arsenal of medieval European weapons to face off against equally armed bots. Now, while you're free to fool around and just absolutely dumpster people with a maul, flying stab technique, jiggle attack, just randomly wail on people, or just stab the AI in the face, even before they start to fight you, but what if you want to hone your skills with a blade? Sure, you can take fights slowly and methodically, blocking attack, and trying to strike your opponent where they aren't guarding, but training on your own will only get you so far. You'll need a sword fighting master to hone your skills if you are to master the blade yourself. But who has the time or resources to find a sword fighting master? I sure don't. But I do have the next best thing, the Book of Five Rings. What is the Book of Five Rings, you may be asking? Gather around, children. I'm going to tell you the story of Miyamoto Musashi. Born in 1584, and winning his first duel at the age of 13 against a samurai. And long story short, lived his life as a traveling ronin, fighting in battles and duels throughout the land. Then, in 1633, Musashi was invited by a daimyo to kinda just hang out and train at his castle. Finally, in 1643, after not losing a single duel in the 61 total duels throughout his life, he resigned himself to a cave to write down his teachings and philosophy. So instead of studying the blade by myself like some kind of loser, I'm going to follow the teachings of a cave hermit who didn't believe in bathing that died nearly 380 years ago. Now, while I have read the entirety of the Book of Five Rings, we are not going to go through all of Musashi's teachings today, as that would take forever, and a lot of that doesn't apply to me swinging around VR controllers in my room at the computer people. Instead, we will be focusing on the first strategy that Musashi talks about in the Book of Five Rings, specifically the Book of Water, which is the first book that details the use of a longsword, which today we call a katana. This first strategy being the Five Attitudes, which is essentially a guide on how to react to a strike from each of the five directions. If you're familiar with how the fighting system works in For Honor, it's basically that, but you're adding a center and lower direction to react to. Now in the Book of Five Rings, Musashi assumes that you're using a long sword, also known as a katana, a long two-handed weapon, and so is your opponent. But in Blade and Sorcery, the AI only spawns in with one-handed weapons, and even if you disarm them and make them pick up a two-handed sword, they use it one-handed. So we're going to just have to treat this like they're using a two-handed sword. Also, the AI only attacks from either top, left, and right side. So, we're back to the three directions of For Honor. With the first attitude being middle attitude, we're off to a great start. Musashi says if an enemy attacks from the center, dash their sword down into the right, and slash their arms from below as they try to bring their sword back up. I can't practice this since the AI doesn't attack from the center, but it would look something like this. Second is the upper attitude. When an enemy attacks by striking from above, while they have their arms up, the rest of their body is open, so just hit them. And if they evade that, they'll have to put their arms down eventually, so just slash their arms from below whenever they try to bring them down. You must train repetitively. This is a bit different from what I normally do when they attack from above. Usually I block and then repost. But Musashi says to just attack before they bring their sword down, which I find to be harder, as the AI very quickly slashes down with their one-handed weapons, since it's easier to just block than move forward and strike before they bring their sword down. But striking while their arm's up is still doable, and you don't run the risk of the enemy overpowering you if they're stronger than you. The third attitude, lower, isn't in Blade and Sorcery either, but if you are already ready to attack from the lower attitude, Hit his hands from below, somehow. If they try to hit your sword down while you're doing this, while their arms are down, slash across their upper arms horizontally. This both sounds confusing and not possible, as he says to hit their hands from below while they're attacking from below, so their arms are already down, and you have to get under them still. Seems confusing to me, so I'm kinda happy that I can't do this in the game. The fourth attitude is left attitude, where if the enemy attacks from the left, hit their hands from below. If they try to hit your sword down, parry and cut across from over your shoulder. You must research this. Same as the top attitude, I normally just parry and repost this sort of attack, 
but after some practice, this works great. As to block from my resting stance is basically doing the same movements I would be doing to slash at their hands to begin with, and if the AI could decide to change the course of their swing a little lower, they could just go around my sword and hit me. So preemptively going for their hands seems like a smarter move to me. Our final approach is the right attitude. When attacked from the right side, block sweeping bottom to top, then cut straight down from above. This is the rarest attack from the AI, and I feel like they attack from the right side faster, as they only draw back a little, since they're reaching across their body with one arm, so they attack quicker from this side. So it's difficult to practice this, but eventually I got it. And honestly, this is exactly how I responded to this attitude before I read Musashi's teaching. It just doesn't happen often and is hard to get proficient at. Final paragraph for the five approaches section is, this method is essential for knowing the way of the longsword well. If you can use this method, you can freely wield a heavy longsword. I cannot describe in detail how to use these five approaches. You must become well acquainted with my in harmony with the longsword way. Learn large scale timing. Understand the enemy's longsword and become used to the five approaches from the outset. You'll always win by using these five methods. With various timing considerations, discerning the enemy spirit, you must consider all this carefully. You'll have noticed I put up the direct quote from the book for all the five approaches. Some of the wording is weird, and I may have misinterpreted them, but this is the first of many strategies Musashi talks about. So in my mind, these are the most basic of strategies to really hone in as a beginner as they are just reactions to attacks from different directions, with no other considerations at play, which he gets into later in the Water Book, and the Fire Book, along with touching on and defending his school from teachings of other schools in the Wind Book. 